What's up everybody? Today we're going to be taking the Primal Kitchen Hollandaise sauce out for a little test drive. I'm going to be pairing it with a few of my favorite foods. I'm also going to try to make Eggs Benedict for the first time. But this is going to be Hollandaise sauce four different ways. The first uh, pairing we're going to do is my personal favorite food, steak. Now typically I would just grill my steak outside on the grill, that's sort of what I'm used to, what I've mastered, but for the purposes of this video, it's kind of bad weather outside. I have to cook it inside, and so to make sure I get a really consistent result, I don't wanna to have to do this more than once, I'm gonna do a reverse sear. Uh, it's really easy to do if you've never done it. Basically, all you're gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna season my steak with some salt and some pepper, and then I'm gonna set my uh, oven for a really low temperature, like 200 or 250 degrees, and just cook it in that low temperature. And I'm gonna use a meat thermometer, and I'm just going to cook it until it reaches about 115 degrees, which is 15 degrees short of my desired final temperature of 130 degrees for a medium rare steak. Once my steak reaches 115 degrees, I'm going to take it out. I've got a hot cast iron pan ready to go. Uh, I'm just going to spray it with a little Primal Kitchen avocado oil. And see my cast iron pan is already smoking. I am going to throw my steak on there, cook it for just about a minute per side, give it a nice sear on the outside, and then remove it. Then I just wanna let my steak rest for 10 minutes. Uh, a lot of people skip that step, but that's an important part. It actually finishes cooking as it's resting there. And after 10 minutes, I'm gonna have a consistent, perfect, medium rare steak. I eat a lot of steak and I always am dipping my steak in different Primal Kitchen sauces. The Hawaiian barbecue, the regular barbecue are sort of my go-to favorites. The Buffalo works. And so this is gonna be a new one. Uh, I get to try with my steak. Uh, this hollandaise sauce, it's made with cashew butter, uh, really clean ingredients. It's really creamy as you see there. It's got a really nice, rich flavor, goes really well with the steak, but that is the steak and hollandaise sauce. Another classic pairing is gonna be just a grilled salmon and hollandaise sauce. Again, I'm just gonna do a really simple grilled salmon, uh, coat my salmon fillets with just a little bit of uh, Primal Kitchen avocado oil and then just season with salt and pepper. And then I'm just gonna grill these in a cast iron pan on high heat. I'm just gonna add a little bit more Primal Kitchen avocado oil into the pan itself. And then I'm going to cook these first skin side down. Let those cook for about four and a half to five minutes per side and then flip them. And that's it, really simple. I'm gonna serve this with some uh, roasted asparagus. Simple, healthy meal, but I'm gonna take it over the top, add a bunch of flavor with the Primal Kitchen holiday sauce. Just pour that on top. Look at that beautiful, creamy hollandaise on top. And that is another really delicious meal. The hollandaise sauce goes great with meat and protein, but it also goes great with veggies. And so the third preparation I'm gonna do is just some roast broccoli with hollandaise sauce. And this is really simple. I've got my broccoli florets here. I'm just going to drizzle a few tablespoons of Primal Kitchen extra virgin olive oil. Use clean hands to evenly coat the broccoli and the oil. And then I'm just gonna simple season these with salt and black pepper. I'm gonna roast these in my oven at 425 degrees for about 20, 30 minutes. When they look good, I'm gonna pop them out of the oven and then I'm just gonna add my hollandaise sauce all over the top. Add a little bit of fresh parsley as well, and that is a great veggie dish using the hollandaise sauce. And then the final preparation is something I haven't ever made before, uh, eggs benedict. Uh, this is going to require me to poach some eggs, which I've never done. Uh, there's a lot of videos on how to poach eggs, a lot of different methods. But I tried the simplest method out there and it worked pretty well. Uh, the least fussy, doesn't require a strainer or any extra steps. Basically, you're gonna bring about an inch and a half of water to a simmer. And then before you drop your eggs in there, you wanna first crack them into little ramekins. This allows you to just be a little bit more gentle when you're putting the eggs into the water. This first one, I was a little bit rough, and so you're gonna see that egg white uh, sort of spread out a little bit. 
I did a little bit better job on the second egg, but the thing is it doesn't really matter because basically all that white wispy stuff gets left behind anyways. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference. You still have your poached egg. And then I'm just gonna use my phone as a timer, cook it for four and a half minutes. And so after four and a half minutes, I'm gonna use a slotted spoon and just use that to lift my eggs up out of the water. And then for this video, instead of an English muffin, I'm using like a keto uh, Mikey's muffin. Uh, you could also use, like if you wanted to make this a little bit more carnivore-ish, you could use like a little hamburger patty or a sausage patty, or you could just use extra ham. Uh, but I'm using this keto Mikey's muffin here. And so I'm going to top that first with a couple slices of baked ham. You could also use Canadian bacon. Then I'm going to put my poached eggs on top of the ham. I'm going to drizzle my hollandaise sauce on top. And then I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of uh, paprika for color, a little bit of uh, fresh parsley, make it look beautiful so you can get a nice shot for your Instagram account. But there you go. There's uh, the eggs Benedict. And if you want to pick up the Primal Kitchen Hollandaise Sauce, you can get it at primalkitchen.com. If you use the code HELLO20, you can get 20% off your entire order. Just a little thank you for checking out our channel. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.